Now, Betty, um, what are we going to do tonight? I'm going to kick some ass! <laughs> Chicago, where the fires serve cold, but the wolves and the hawks never shiver in the snow. The bulls keep it running, the Sox run the south, the Cubs run the north, but the Bears run the house. Two Chicago sports fans got their ears to the street. Any team make a move, and they never skip a beat. And in this house, this is where we be. Welcome to the show with E Rock and Big Z. Welcome, 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 welcome to Chicago. Coming from the True Chicago Sports Fan Cave, this is the TCSF Podcast with E-Rock and Big Z. What's up, Z? What's up, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen? No, it's not E-Rock. <laughs> oh, it's man. Not E-Rock. I was waiting. I was waiting for it. Yeah. <laughs> Episode 85 is brought to you by 606 Media, True Chicago Sports Fans, ACSI, and Grit Clothing Company. Don't forget to go to gritclothingco.com and get your official TCSF podcast t shirts. Search for keyword True Chicago and use our promo code TrueFan15 for 15% off your entire order. That is TrueFan15. 15 get your official tcsf shirts now as always i'm big z and i'm here with mike logic gigantor in for iraq what's up fellas yes 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 what's up z Yo, what ladies up, and gentlemen welcome to the show gigantor glad to be here with you likewise likewise sir so if you guys are a first timer or a long timer please remember to hit that subscribe button and that notify button and go ahead and give us a review Please give us a great review on your listening app of your choice. You can find us on Facebook at True Chicago Sports Fans. Excuse me, True Chicago Fans. You can follow us on Twitter at True Shy Fans and on IG at True Chicago Sports Fans. Don't forget, you can support the show with a monthly subscription at anchor.fm backslash True Chicago Sports Fans. Go on over there and click on support and you can subscribe as low as 99 cents a month. Do you like the show? Are you a fan? Tell your friends, and they'll tell their friends, and we can all be friends. Nah, I mean. <laughs> nah, I mean. <laughs> What's up, guys? Tell me tell me what you've been up to, guys. I, I, I haven't had you guys in the studios in a long time. What's going on with y'all, man? Man, it's just been doing shows, promoting shows, putting shows together. And then work, baby. Yeah, doing that work and uh, you know doing Shot Native Radio every Tuesday night. Staying busy, man. Staying busy. Watching as much Bulls basketball as I can. You know, oh, yeah. we, we talk every now and then. We'll, you know, we'll talk Bulls over, uh, you know, over the phone. But this is always a lot more fun. So I'm happy to be back here. Yeah, it's fun to have you guys in the studio. I know it's a little different with E-Rock night, not in the building. What's up, Z? <laughs> I was practicing on the way here. Yeah, I see that. I see that. But, it's you know, it's awesome to get you guys, everybody in the studio and have a good time and just talk shit. Uh, Giganto, what you been up to, bro? Man, working, 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 catching some sports here and there. You know, got a lot of things going on, working on some other stuff, a uh, future project that 606 is going to be putting out. So, yeah. You be driving that big rig, bro? Uh, you know it. You know it. <laughs> <laughs> can you can you say who, who you've been driving, or are you not allowed to say that? Uh, oh, so he's not allowed to area. say it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so he's got an, an, an uh, non-disclosure act or something Let, that you can't talk. Let's just say I get to drive around a lot of interesting people, a lot of cool people some famous people so you know some want to be famous people some want to be famous people yeah but yeah oh, okay there's a oh. time and a place right now i can't say specifically like one of the cooler people which you know of recently but you know i don't know anything i don't want you to get you fired <laughs> well, i definitely don't know now i want to know <laughs> uh we'll have to talk about we'll, this we'll talk about this off the air off the air off the air, <laughs> off the air. logic what's going on with these shows man that you're putting out so we're doing uh shy native nights every at the end or the third Thursday of every month. Okay. We're just trying to showcase as much local talent as possible. And uh, it's a great, at a great spot. It's at Retro Cafe, 3246 North Central Avenue. Uh, our St. Patty show is going to be coming up March 17th. So I'm really looking forward to that. Me too. I just found out I'll be performing in Milwaukee. What? March oh. 13th. That's which awesome. Is, which is a Sunday at, uh, I think it's called Bremen Cafe. Nice. Some along the lines. And I, and I'm just looking forward to uh, you know getting out of the city limits and doing a show in another state. So that's always fun. That's what's awesome. what, what's the origin of the uh, of the shy nights? Um, shy native nights. We just wanted to start you know putting shows together. Also, us us doing shows 
should help you know with the radio show because it, it, it lets people know hey we have this platform for you guys you artists out there that we're putting on these shows you can send us your music and we just it's, it's just a one big cycle you know whether whether you're you're played first on shy native radio and then you end up on shy native nights or vice versa it should it should all work out and it's something that we've been wanting to do because we're, we're good at throwing shows like we're I can speak for myself. Like I know that I I understand and know talent when I hear it, and I can kind of put together some cohesive unit to put mm-hmm. put out there on a the show. And Throne Scene uh, Ideal do a great job as well. So that's how Shy Native Nights came about. And I could definitely testify to that because I've been to a couple of your shows, and yeah, they're they're dope. They're good. Thank good you. time, man. Good time, definitely. Yeah, we definitely put in put in the work. Uh, can we put you on some uh, these these uh, festivals? What's going on with those, man? You you sign up for some festivals or what? Man, festivals are hard because they always want to look at these inflated numbers on, mm-hmm. on, on YouTube. And, you know, for, for the little guys. So you need me to put your video up there and just leave it on yeah, all night? Just, just, just leave it on. Because I'll repeat. All I'll they, care, all they care about is numbers. But we'll be throwing our own festival in the summertime like we did Ooh. back in 2019. Okay. So, uh, good. yeah, Music in the Woods will be coming back this year. And once again, Throw Them Scene Ideal do a great job. Throw Them See. Man, she's always promoting. She's always working. She's always creating content. So sure. much love to my family. That's awesome. That's awesome. It's great to have a good team. That, well, good segue. Ladies and gentlemen, springtime is on the way, and maybe you need a fresh start. So let me tell you about a great opportunity with our friends over at ACSI. With over 50 expert technicians in the Chicagoland area, ACSI offers a one-stop shop for telecom wiring. Whether it's residential cable, installation, fiber to the home, or commercial structured cable wiring, ACSI is a proud partner of Comcast and a sound powered by RCN. Fans, let me tell you something impressive about the ACSI crew. The ACSI crew did their thing during the COVID-19 pandemic and ACSI was awarded HACIA's 2020 Contractor of the Year Award. The best part of ACSI is growing is that it's growing bigger and better and than ever. ACSI is hiring for field sales technicians and project managers. Check out ACSI.tech. That's ACSI.tech and click on careers today. ACSI is an equal opportunity employer. Go get you a job. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, Z, how was your week? Dude. What were you up to? <laughs> Kind of like you. I, I do a little bit of what you do. I do a little bit of what you do. I do a little bit of everything, man. Well, it started off last Monday with a root canal, and I'm actually feeling okay, probably because I'm on pain meds, uh, but a root canal that's uh, been staying me for about a year. Uh, yeah. Painful. Yeah. Yeah. It's been one of those, like, I can deal with it. I can deal with it. And then I went for a cleaning, and the doctor's like, well, is it bothering me? I'm like, eh, not really. And then it started bothering me. Sure enough, after I told him it's not bothering me. So he he actually had to drill in there, drill through a crown that they put in there last year. And thank God they didn't crack that crown because it was about a $1,500 difference between if they went through the crown or cracked the crown and had to replace the whole thing. So, yeah. So right now, a little, precise. Yeah, a little bit sore. It's hard. Cause I love to eat food and you know, I'm like, I'm super hungry. I want to eat a burrito. I want to eat a torta. I want to eat uh, all this type of food. And it's just, it's, it's hard to eat and I'll open my mouth. And uh, it's really do really something I, 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 it's hard to do. Yeah. <laughs> you don't realize how much you use your mouth besides for talking. Ew. Hey, <laughs> but it's been a crazy week. Um, our bowling tick took first again for the quarter. So that means we won third, uh, First place for second quarter and third quarter, so that's extra uh, coin in our pockets. Congrats. Yeah, thank you. And the boys bowled out well. I did my average, which is all we need to do for me because they, they bowl about uh, – some of the guys bowl like 160, 170, 180. Sometimes they get a little higher than that. And I'll have my, my a couple weeks where I get hot and I'll bowl in the 170s, but I have a high handicap because I was stinking it up at the beginning of the year. <laughs> now, are you guys throwing, throwing them back while, while you're bowling? Or? Of course we're throwing them back. Because that's the key to bowling well. Yeah, it is. What, you, I, you what, get I, what ideal tells me. You get loosey goosey with that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you got to lubricate. Yeah, we do. And then uh, uh, I am um, obliged to take a Malort shot. Ugh. Not my favorite thing. I hold my breath and chase it down with the Modelo. But it's a tradition that we do. And every time we do that, we win. So I am not going to be the one that fucks that up. <laughs> <laughs> so we got one more quarter to go in the playoffs, which we already qualified for. So we're trying to get our money. Pretty much, we're going to get our money back. Yeah. So we bowled for free, and we just paid for drinkies. Well, it's not a bad deal. Get that money, man. That's right. So I was also able to join Mikey O last week for his comedy show over at Weed Street. How was that? Oh, dude, these people kill, man. 
Uh, yeah, I want to come out for one, one, one of Mikey's shows. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they they killed uh, Anthony Fuentes, uh, Gwen La Roca, and then they had, um, I can't remember the name of the comic, uh, Sandra something, I'm sorry. Um, she came from New York. She was old school, older older lady, just raunchy, just tells you how it is. That she, she did about 45 minutes to an hour set. It was it was phenomenal because she was talking about like how she grew up and uh, like all these young guys try to hit on her because she's a good looking older woman. And that call dude, they're like, "Oh, I'm gonna break your back," and you know, all they could do is make a TikTok video. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, so it was good to see that. And you know what? Uh, there's uh, looks. Hopefully, uh, Mikey O can come back on the show pretty soon. Uh, we have a lot of stuff booked for the next coming month, so it's gonna be uh, a, f- a fun packed uh, March. So big things, oh, yeah. big things going on. Right? Said we're gonna have a nice, nice summer this summer. So, guys, this week we're talking Bulls basketball. Bulls basketball is back. Ten game winning Bulls. streak. That's awesome. Blackhawks finally put it in the, in the net, which, mm. hey. Hey. <laughs> Baseball is nowhere to be found. Bottom line. I mean, there's, what can we say? And, of course, stirring the pot, what you looking at? But first, this is the Big Three with Big Z. Run that again. A bit more enthusiasm. Which one? But your red part. Three? Yeah, your red part. Okay. Sorry, no, that's fine. Oh, that's fine. Wait, three, two. This week, Bulls basketball is back. The Blackhawks finally put it in the net. Ayo. Baseball is nowhere to be found. Bottom line. And of course, stirring the pot and what you looking at. But first, this is the Big Three with Big Z. Thanks, Jack Antor. I'm Big Z and you guys are not. (laughs) Now for today's story. Story number one, New York Post sports media columnist Andrew Marchland reported Wednesday night that Troy Aikman is leaving Fox to sign a five-year deal with ESPN and Monday Night Football. Sources confirmed that SI to SI that Aikman is indeed making the switch. Fellas, this is huge news. I mean, we've been watching Aikman since he when he was in the Cowboys then retired. He's been a booth forever. Oh, Troy's, yeah. Troy's really good. He oh is. yeah, he breaks down those games really good. Yeah, I love I love seeing his uh, like his interactions and stuff. I mean, he's great. So what's gonna happen? I mean, no more Troy and Buck. I know some people hate Buck. I think he's fine. I don't think I don't have an issue with Buck. Yeah, I don't have a problem with Buck either. I understand why people think he's annoying. It's probably just a bias thing. Like people always think he's got the Chicago bias. Yeah. Where he's where, calling a national broadcast. He's not there to be your friend. That's why you got your Homer broadcasters. Yeah. I don't know. I'm assuming uh, Greg Olson's probably going to step up since he is like their number two guy. I yeah, mean, I mean, he's good. Tony Romo is pretty much locked in with CBS. Right. Oh, yeah. He's got a nice deal because I, I would figure that he might be the other one that would be in line for a job like ESPN Monday Night Football. But Troy Eggman's a good, a solid pick. Where, 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 where's uh, uh, this guy? Um, uh, from from uh, um, New Orleans. Um, Jesus. Oh, uh, Breeze. Where's Breeze at? He's on uh, Sunday Night Football. Night Football. He's on okay, so he's on Sunday Night Football, which yeah. is yeah, uh, NBC. So he's yeah. Well, rumor has it that Troy Aikman deal is uh, more lucrative than um, what's his face is um, Romo's. Romo's. That's yeah. until Tom Brady gets a deal. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, let's if, see. You guys, if, you guys think Tom Brady's going to stay away from football for long? Mm, and we've talked know. about it a couple of times. I think he's done. I think there's no reason to. There's nothing to prove. I'm I'm saying off, off the field, like you guys think he's gonna stay away. Oh no no no, no he's got he, off the field. No, he. I mean he's great for the camera. People like. Yeah, him. I think people I, hate I him. I think he'll be an excellent broadcaster. Oh, absolutely, and he's got that insight. He's got know? the charisma too. Yeah, definitely. I actually almost think there's a chance, just a chance. He has nothing to prove, but there's a chance he might just come back for a season just for the hell of it. <laughs> I, I think he's done. He's got to be done. There's no reason. No, there's nothing to prove, man. Yeah, it's, go bang your hot wife. <laughs> Go make another child Right <laughs> Take that Ugg money <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna do nothing but endorsements man You're gonna see yeah. him just like uh, oh, yeah. uh, uh, What's the, uh, the guy from uh, New York the With, the, the, with the, the jacket The big jacket Namath? Namath. There you go. Yeah. Thank you. I'm bad with names. <laughs> it was it was ice Broadway, well, see, that's Broadway Joe. It used Broadway to be ice Joe. toners back in the day because yeah. he had Marino in them. Now it's gonna be Uggs with uh with, with Brady Watch. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, let's move on. Story number two. The strange case of a New England college student went a uh, student who had both legs amputated after eating leftovers. So uh, for you guys who love leftovers, watch out. <laughs> it's a crazy story. Have you read it? I need context. Yeah, here we go. The 19-year-old man in question was admitted to a pediatric intensive care unit in Massachusetts General Hospital as a result of shock, multiple organ failure, and a rash. This is according to the March 2021 edition of the New England Journal of Medicine. So it's legit. <laughs> the YouTube channel Chub, Chubby Meal. Sure, we'll go with that. Uh, a Chubby licensed. Evil. Yeah, yeah. Okay, sure. A licensed to- a toxicologist posted the video on the case on February 16. And it's been viewed by over a million times. The 19-year-old man identified on YouTube as JC has started feeling abnormal pain, nausea after eating rice, chicken, and lo mein leftovers from a restaurant meal. He began vomiting, experienced chills, generate weakness, generalized weakness, chest pain, shortness of breath, neck stiffness, blurry vision, Jesus Christ, and developed a purplish discoloration. Do you need more context than that? That's not leftovers. You don't think so? No. This body eats plenty of leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm somewhat of a professional on this topic. So okay. I'm an sure. expert. <laughs> expert, if you will. Yeah. Uh, so it looks like he had n- Neisseria meningitis. This is a, so it's, it's bacteria that are present in blood. Uh, yeah, so it's essentially kind of a menin- meningitis. So I don't know how he contracted this from from food. I mean, it might, have been, the, it might have been the catalyst, maybe like something in there that he's allergic uh, to. Yeah, so he didn't get his booster shot of menin- meningococcal. Con- con- <laughs> meningococcal uh, conjugate vaccine. So he didn't get his vaccine. So. Vaccine your vaccinize your kids, bro. <laughs> this the, the show's gone. <laughs> really, really left. <laughs> <laughs> to the left to the We're left. talking about chicken pox and measles and shit like that. All right, it's small pox. <laughs> if you want to do the other stuff, vax this, up, vax yeah, up, vax up and wax up, bro. All right, <laughs> story number three, and I think we're gonna be in the right location to keep talking about this stuff. All right, so Winter Olympics finish. Uh, a Finnish cross-country skier f- suffers a frozen penis in a 50-kilometer ki- uh, race. We actually talked about this on Shine Native Radio last um, Tuesday. Nice. Yes. We had to bring it up, man. The f- men's 50-kilometer mass uh, started skiing race Robert. at <laughs> Beijing Games. was shortened to 30 kilometers, but that li- did little to help the Finland's Remy Lim- Limholm, who needed a heat pack at the end of the race to thaw out his particularly sensitive body penis. part. <laughs> yes. More than a heat pack. Jesus, gentlemen, this is why I don't go out there in the winter. This isn't the first time this happened to him either. It's not. No, nah, he's a repeat offender. Oh wow, he must not like his member. <laughs> no, not at all. I don't think he's uh, pumping up enough blood there. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I mean, he could have took a Viagra. <laughs> is that is that doping? There's a lot of shrinkage going on. <laughs> Uh, well, hell, it gets cold as hell here in Chicago, so we know we know the deal. Layer up, <laughs> exactly. I was gonna say that's what he should have done. He should have layered up, but he has to wear that skin tight outfit, and he's doing what? Like, I don't know how fast they're going down that mountain. At, uh, you know what you do? You you know those those race. those hand warmers, a little packet of hand warmers. You put those next to your he boys. Needs to put that thing in a cocoon. <laughs> 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 oh man, oh, I chose the right stories this week. <laughs> no, thanks, E. <laughs> that man's always posting stories He is I'm Big Z and that's news to me We'll be right back after a word from our sponsors Hey true Chicago sports fans Show off your Chicago pride With some fresh clothes from Grit Clothing Company Grit Clothing Company at Grit Clothing, they create that simple yet classic style that represents that Chicago Southside lifestyle. From t-shirts to hoodies, hats to glassware, they've got you covered. <laughs> Grit has everything you need to represent your Chicago pride. So do it right now. Check out GritClothingCo.com and use the promo code TRUEFAN15. TRUEFAN15. True fan 15. 15. For 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15% off your entire order. Let me say it again. That's Grit. ClothingCo.com and use the promo code TrueFan15 for 15% off of your entire order. Yeah. 
Welcome back to the TCSF podcast with E Rock. Oh no, 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 he's not here. With Gigantor and Mike Logics during the yeah, hot yeah. seat today. That's right. This is the loop, our Chicago sports roundup where we keep you in the loop. This is Chicago. Doors open on the left at Chicago. Welcome to Chicago. Welcome, welcome to Chicago. This is Chicago. Doors open on the left at Chicago. Yo, yo, what's going on with this MLB garbage, man? I, I, Mike, are you keeping track? I know you're not the, the most uh, baseball guy because you're you're basketball, but yeah, you- no, I'm not even gonna pretend like I am. I'm hoping you guys will <laughs> fill me fill me in, give me the quick rundown. So you know what the beauty is? You know what you know about baseball right now? That's exactly what we know about baseball right now. <laughs> I'm all caught up. All right, cool. There man. you go. Yeah, that's pretty much as long as the extent of the meetings have been going. There's been five-hour meetings and five-minute mini meetings. These, these guys are bad. Yeah. MLB negotiations, negotiations are ongoing as of February 27th, which is today, Sunday. And it doesn't look like MLB will have a full season. I guarantee you that. That's not going to happen. I just want to know who my Cubs are going to sign. Yeah, well... Supposedly, if they don't reach an agreement by tomorrow, Monday, we're recording on Sunday, released on Tuesday. Yeah, um, it's they're gonna be locked out. They're gonna be locked out, and it's gonna they'll take another week. It, it, it's gonna take these guys to miss paychecks, the yeah. big guys, the the guys who are getting paid. Money's always an incentive, right? It's the, a the, damn the, shame because we just picked up Strowman on the north side, man. I, I want to see him pitch. Okay, let me just. Uh, do you really think the Cubs are gonna compete? Hey, man, rebuilding. Okay, so you answered my question. That, that's the appropriate answer. This is what I want to say. Every time the fucking White Sox are really good, there's a fucking strike. 94. Hmm. Coincidence? Coincidence? Hmm. Conspiracy hmm. theory. Things that make you go. <laughs> hmm. hmm. All right, Jack Answer, what's going on on the Madhouse on Madison? Whoa. So the Chicago Blackhawks needed a night like Friday's 8-5 to five win against the New Jersey Devils. The Hawks, who realistically have no shot at all at the playoffs, had plenty of reason to cheer. Patrick Kane and Brandon Hagel had hat tricks, and Hagel celebrated his first hat trick on his 100th game with the Blackhawks. Tip of the cap. Way Tip of go. the cap. Yeah, I'm not throwing my cap in there. <laughs> That's about as far as I'm going. Now, a team that has been shut out twice this month could use a confidence boosting eight goals, and we did it. So, hey. Congrats to the to the Blackhawks. Exactly. I mean, You're this is finally something. some good news. Yeah. I mean, there's been so much negativity around the Blackhawks organization with the front office and getting that rid of debacle. Yeah, getting rid of all the stench. Pretty much, it's like you moved into a new apartment and you're like, holy shit, they didn't clean the floors, the windows, there's dog hair everywhere. Uh, who the took this? Chalk outline. <laughs> yeah, there's a chalk outline. Who left this, you know, this uh, dump in the, in, the, in the toilet and didn't flush it? It's literally that. It's a dumpster fire that these new people are coming in and there's still a couple of uh, players from that. Uh, from that how much longer is Patrick Kane and Jonathan Tate is going to be good for? That's a good question. I would say less than two years. That's the issue. It's it's time to flip them. I, I as a business person, not not. Just, I this love I love you, both. This is what you do with your aging assets, your yeah. aging stars. You have to flip them. I know. I understand that they're fan favorites and people don't want to see them leave, but that's just the reality and the nature of the business. If you can get value for them back. To secure your future, right? You have to make that move. Wayne, exactly Wayne Gretzky. Is, That's yeah, why Wayne, you have to take the fan out. Wayne of it, Gretzky you know played I mean? for like four organizations. Yeah, right. Like he was already old. Well, and he's Nolan Ryan. Around. There you go. But again, it's a business, like you said. I mean, Nolan Ryan was a beast. Yeah, he he beast. tore his he tore his UCL and threw a pitch over a hundred miles an hour. One of my favorite pitches of all time. Yeah, definitely. Now, now Randy the, Johnson too. The only thing is, you know, yeah, they got the win, which is good, but they still gave up five goals, which is a lot. Oh, they have no defense. It's that's Swiss the cheese. Part. We just have to do. If not if, as long one. as their offense is better. No, exactly. As long as your offense scores more than the other team, that's it. You'll be all right. And that's exactly where we're at because we that's have no sports. Defense. That's kind of like what the Bulls are, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, let's switch over to the uh, the the lakefront Bears right now. They're still on the lakefront uh, for now. Yeah, well, Lori's trying to put a last uh, uh, hail mary there, but I doubt it's going to happen. She's really trying. It's oh, too yeah. late now after talking shit about the Bears. Arlington Knights Bears coming soon. (laughs) (laughs) Are a couple bear tidbits. Ryan Pace has been hired as the Atlanta Falcons senior president, senior personnel executive, and Matt Nagy heads back to KC. Doesn't surprise me. With his tail tucked between his legs as a quarterback and senior assistant coach. I'm sure he'll do just fine. Well, yeah, because he's going to be covered by all the great coaches there. Not only that, he's a QB coach. So guess what he gets to do? Hey, Mahomes, throw the ball. 
Oh, touchdown. High five. Yes, I told him to do that. Yes. <laughs> That's how he got the job in the first place. <laughs> I'm sure as long as he doesn't have to be in charge of a team, he's going to be great. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's covered by a bunch of great coaches over there. So. And and Ryan Pace, for you know everything we could say bad about him. He wasn't that bad of a He was still year. successful. Yes. Yeah. So he was definitely going to land a job somewhere. Like, you'd be a fool not to take a chance with, with this person oh, for sure. who has all this experience now. Yeah, he, he, he took a step back, but I, I he will be a, another candidate for a GM position pretty soon. He's still yeah. young. Well, yeah. he made some good gambles. He has a couple that cost. You win some, you lose some. Yeah. That's fine. I wasn't really mad at Ryan Pace. I was mad about uh, certain other things, but that's neither here there. Bear season is over. Sorry, Eddie. Yeah. All right, the Bears should close on the Audience and Heights land early next year. This been this been noted and reported uh, that they will close on the first. Uh, Probably the first couple months of next year, so they're still doing all the logistics and so. And they gotta get the construction moving, get the hotels built. It's all due diligence, man. It's gonna be like Rosemont on steroids. But honestly, it makes sense. No, it makes total sense. It makes total. I still don't think I'm gonna go to any more games than I do now. I enjoy. I enjoy (laughs) watching them on my television. I probably will will be in that building, but probably not for a Bears game. Like if they have a WrestleMania there, I'm going. Yeah. yeah, because they're gonna have to figure out other other things to do. I mean, the season's only oh, there's, there's plenty of eighteen things. weeks long, right? Well, you, you yeah. what you gotta do unless is you, unless you make the playoffs. There you go. Yeah. Playoffs. Yeah. Yeah. Playoffs. playoffs. Yeah. No, what you have to do is you gotta capitalize on the revenue. You gotta use that building as much as possible. Oh yeah. So that you can create revenue. You gotta have concerts there. You've gotta have all you know the monster the monster truck. You know, take take all that big stuff and just they put it. They might even do the rodeo. Who knows? A shy Native Music Festival. Oh hey. I'm there you just go. putting it out there now. Yeah, put it into existence. Yeah. <laughs> Speak it into existence, baby. It'll happen. Power of yeah. positivity. If they build it, we will come. Oh, and they're going to oh. build it. So you coming. <laughs> <I> hey. <Whoa. laughs> All right, fans, let's take a quick pause for the cause, and we'll be right back with our new segment, The Bottom Line, after a quick word from our sponsors. What? This is Chicago. Doors open on the left at Chicago. Welcome to Chicago. We all know that 2020 was no joke, and with an ever-changing world climate, many people are looking for a new opportunity. Guys, are you looking for a career that rewards effort and makes you feel valued as a team member? Let me tell you a little about our friends at ACSI. ACSI is a certified RCN business agent. They provide the same RCN services with a personalized touch. Their sales and technician teams work hand-in-hand, ensuring your experience will be smooth and pleasant. Gone are the days of being transferred from one person to the next. At ACSI, they handle everything from start to finish. It's never been so easy to get internet service. ACSI is a growing Chicagoland company that encourages personal growth and rewards perseverance. As they expand, they're looking for passionate, responsible, and honest professionals to join their team. A career with ACSI means you'll be part of a hardworking, flexible, and dynamic team that is a leader in the installation of cable and internet services in the Chicagoland area. Best of all, ACSI was awarded Hacia's 2020 Contractor of the Year Award. Are you ready to grow with a local Chicago company on the rise? Check out ACSI.tech and click on careers to get started. That's ACSI.tech and click on careers. Welcome back to the TCSF podcast with E-Rock and Big Z. I am Mike Logic here with Gigantor filling in. And this is the bottom line. The bottom line. In this segment, we discuss the biggest Chicago sports topic of the week, and this week it is the Chicago Bulls. The Bulls. The Bulls. The Bulls have been bouncing up and down. See what I did there? Uh, stand the standings with without being healthy, with Demar scoring thirty plus in ten. Count them, 10 straight games. So, Mike, what do you think the Bulls and what do you think of the Bulls and their chances of taking the East? Them taking the East, them winning the East. I, yeah, it's hard for me to say that they're gonna win the East. Sorry, guys, I don't think they're gonna win the East. You don't think they're gonna win? What what, what, what do you think they end up? Expound, man. I think, I think conference. Conference finals. I think they can make it to the finals. The conference finals. Not the NBA finals. But there there are some really good teams in the East. The East is 
It's, it's heavy. It's pretty oh, yeah. packed right now. Milwaukee's really good. The Nets are going to the Nets are going to be full strength eventually. Yeah. And they're going to be very very good. Kyrie Kyrie just beat the the Bucks yesterday yeah. by himself. <laughs> well, not by himself, but you know, Andre Drummond was a nice addition to that team. He's got Seth Curry back. Oh, with- speaking of Seth Curry, did you see him travel yesterday? Seth? No. <laughs> no. That dude took a bus pass and the three Curry trains. Brothers, the Curry brothers never do that. Oh my goodness. They was bad. It was a bad it was like almost uh, uh Westbrook. Yeah. Very much like that. So we got we got the Bucks. We got the Nets. Got the 76ers with yeah. Joel Embiid. And they just got uh And James Harden. Yeah, James Harden. That 76ers and then you got team the is Miami scary. Heat. Yeah, no one's talking about the Miami Heat. No one's I, talking I've about. Ta- I've talked about the Miami Heat. Yeah, you have. I know. So my, I, know myself, I know like two or three people who. All no, like the Miami Heat. Heat are dangerous, and and they have playoff experience, and they got Kyle Lowry, who has a lot of playoff experience and a championship. Yep, he's got that pedigree. So I, I definitely think Miami's in the mix for, to win to win the East. The Bulls, I think. I kind of agree with Jeff Van Gundy when he says they've overachieved. I was they not, have. I was not expecting them to be this good. They're not great against 500 teams. Nope. I mean, they just proved it again against the Grizzlies. Yeah, they really uh, struggle with teams who have size. But they're also not full strength. No, and that's yeah. what you're saying. They've overachieved. If, you, if you're missing three or four players and you're still the number one, number two seed, you, you've definitely overachieved. So Yeah, so they have uh, exceeded my expectations of, of what they would be this season. My expectation was, and I've said on air, they're going to end up with a four seed. I thought like they would be a six or seven seed. I called wow. a wild card, remember? Hey, you, did, you said you're going to be at the bottom with the wild card, huh? Yeah, that's what I said last time. But AK and Mark Eversley have done such a great job turning this team around in such a short period of time. My hat's off to them. I will throw my cap <laughs> at them. <laughs> that's because you need a new one. You need a new Chicago hat, right? I, I, I wear this everywhere. I, people people know me because of this hat, I think. <laughs> so what, what, what do you think about the new addition of Tristan Thompson? I love having Tristan Thompson on the squad. I was saying that I thought the Bulls would buy him out. I thought they'd buy either Larry Nance out. Larry Nance got hurt. Um, I thought they might go after... Uh, Dragon. I thought they might go after a Goran, yeah. yeah. And th- there was some talks that he was interested in playing for the Bulls, but we knew we needed a big man, yep. backup power forward, backup center, because Mark was still over in the G, the, the G, G League, the G League, yeah. And uh, you know what's his name, Tony Bradley. He, he's okay. He, he, he's okay, but you saw what happens when you put Tom, Thompson in this lineup. He, he just gives you that energy. He's better. He's better offensively than than I remember. Yeah, and, and we finally got rid of uh, Z's boy, uh, Mr. Matt Thomas over there. <laughs> Matt no, Th- no, he played. He's he still played. There. He's still, Matt, he played at the end of the game. The ghost of Matt, Matt Thomas is still there. Yeah, he's still there. No, I'm saying like by he's, bringing, he's not. He's not leaving anywhere. By, by, but by bringing in Thompson, I'm saying like he's not going to be getting that much time. No, no. I was actually offended by how much time Matt Thomas was playing. Yeah. Yeah, I thought you were going to suit up, Big man. Time. <laughs> <laughs> but Matt Thomas was brought here for for one thing only: shoot the ball. Yeah. So if he's not shooting the ball well, you can just go sit back on the bench. Plus, you don't want him to play big minutes. That's not what no, he, he was exactly. brought here for. But once again, the Bulls have overachieved in a sense because these players who are not supposed to be seeing a, a lot of time have been contributing to winning basketball. So once again, my hat goes off to the entire Bulls organization. I think they're doing a fabulous job this season. DeMar DeRozan, uh, he's got to be top three MVP right now. Oh yeah, He's got to be in the top five. I mean, you have... You have Ja Morant, who's putting up 40 points. Screw that. Last- DeMar is top three in, in my book. Well, because oh, yeah. of his importance. But right now, I, I give the MVP to Joel Embiid. Agreed. Joel's insane right now. Just stay healthy, Joel. And this is how much of a basketball fan I am. Like, I want to see just Joel Embiid healthy. It doesn't matter if we're playing him in the playoffs. I don't want to see Joel Embiid go down. Joel's he's, improved he's his such game a great as, as exponentially was... And what I've seen is that he's been watching Kobe, Michael, and Patrick, like old school videos of players and picking up their tendencies. So if you watch Embiid's game now, he can do a fadeaway. He can do a turnaround. He is one of the most, he might be the most skilled big man I've ever seen. And now he can shoot the three on a consistent basis. I mean, he's going to surpass Giannis and be able to be the best big man, like you just said. The one argument I have with people, and I don't even know if it's argument, it's conversation. Who would I rather build a squad around, Joker or Embiid? Ooh. I would have to go with Joker just because of 
the health status of Joker. He's always he's always pretty healthy and hopefully he stays healthy. Yeah. Knock on wood. If you look at that team, when Joker's on the field, on the field, on the on the court, he, he's on the hardwood. On the hardwood. Hey, um, oh. hey, uh, that team is is almost unstoppable. And when he's not, that team is the joke. And and he's doing that, the yeah. he's doing. and he's keeping them competitive without two of their best players, Jamal right. Murray, who they might be getting back soon, and uh, what's his name, uh, <laughs> Michael Porter Jr. Uh, haven't seen him in a little while. So. No, we haven't. All right, so the Bulls have the Heat, the Hawks, the Bucks this week. Oof. That is a rough, yeah. rough lineup to go against. I mean, by the time this airs, they have already played the Heat. But how do you think that game is going to go? Let's see. I think it's I think they beat the Hawks. Like the Hawks in Atlanta. I think they can beat the Hawks. Milwaukee's gonna be tough, and, and uh, Miami's gonna. I think Miami gets up for this squad. Yes, uh, it's Jimmy Butler gets his old team, of yeah, course. So uh, not to mention, though, remember, and it's, they, they were they, traded they, for each other. They still don't have two of their best defenders, so it's 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 a big deal. We're yeah. also, them we're also coming off a win streak, so some of these guys are tired. So that's going to be, a, I think, a factor for us because we just lost our first game. But they yesterday. just had an all-star break, so I don't. I don't see them tired. I think the injuries, the yeah. nagging injuries, is what's coming in effect. Zach. Zach says he's good. Zach says he, Zach looked good last game. He's, he yeah. had a bounce to his step. He, he actually uh, uh, took the ball down one on four and went to the hoop. You have not seen that since the beginning of the season. Yeah. Um, so let's talk about last game. Yeah, go ahead. So the Grizzlies beat the Bulls one sixteen to one ten. Is that correct? I don't yeah. have my phone in front of me right yeah. now. One sixteen one ten. Uh, John ja Morant looked unstoppable And here's the thing Nikola Vucevic You know what he does Yep He's a double-double machine He is not a defender No So I I don't understand Why Billy Donovan felt That he had to be in there Because he didn't really Even have it going offensively No It felt like there was a lid On our basket Like there was everything was rimming out. Uh, Vucevic, you know, three feet away, just Vucevic had eleven points. So why is he out there with two minutes? Three, Killed my three, parlay. Let's say three minutes Killed left. Killed my parlay. <laughs> when yeah. John Moran is just torching whoever is guarding him, I felt bad for Kobe White. Io had a horrible game. Yeah, that's so why that's, that's going to happen. He's a rookie. He can't be consistent. Right. I'm not, I'm not mad at Io. He's going to no. have his ups and downs. He's had way more ups than downs. Right. Definitely. But you put Vuce in that pick and roll with one of the the, the fat, maybe the fastest player in the NBA. It doesn't make any sense. Tristan Thompson, you saw Tristan Thompson get up on that pick and roll. And like that's yeah. what that's what we need from our big. You know what I did see is Jason Momoa throwing Vucevic all over the floor. <laughs> and us not Dude, get Steven a call. Adams is a fantastic player. Yeah. Uh, he's dirty. He, oh, he is he, super dirty. And will, no I, calls against him. I would him. love for yeah. that dirtiness to be on the ball. Oh boards. no, that, and I was gonna bring that up that he's one of those players that you're like, fuck, he's dirty. But if he was on our team, yeah, we can He's win. not Patrick Beverly he dirty. Oh down, no 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 no. He brought down twenty one rebounds, dude. Yeah. I, I think I think he's a great, more, he was like he had like fourteen in the first half. He's a great player. I, I love I, to have I, him. I think he, I think he's under underrated just because of what he does. Like it's not always going to show up in the stats, even though it did yesterday. But he, he's just a presence. He's not exactly a shot blocker. He's not the most athletic, but he is a presence. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I mean, like I say, he was, he was grabbing jerseys, he was throwing Vucevic around, yeah. he was grabbing rebounds over players, and they weren't calling over the back. I was like, the Bulls are, and that was my going to be my next point. The Bulls don't get the calls that they should be getting. Oh no, no. Zach gets hacked. The Rosen gets hacked. Kobe and uh, especially Io. Io gets hacked all day, and he's, he's not, a rookie. He's not going to get those. And calls. I know he's not yeah, going to get no, the. He's not. But he's a rising star. Where, where's 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 the respect on that? Yeah. I really like this Memphis Grizzlies team, though. He John reminds me. He reminds me of of Derrick Rose. His athletic ability. Oh, ja? yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. His uh, jumping ability. He, he, oh, he does things I've never seen anybody do. You see that three sixty layup? Oh my god! <laughs> even my even my mother my mother in law was like, oh wow. <laughs> <You know, laughs> Kobe Kobe had a decent game for us too, though. Kobe's been the, playing really good this season. Like yeah. he he's made himself uh, hard to trade. You have to keep him. So that's that. Yeah, that's why he's still here. But uh, yeah, that Grizzlies team. I, I see a lot of the Bulls in the Grizzlies squad. They have young players. Yeah. Uh, Steven, yeah Steven Adams is the older head. He's a, he's a Jakim Noah. He, everything runs through him. Yeah. But John Morant, uh, Bain. I like Bain a lot. Bain. Yeah, Bain. He fouled out. He fouled out, right? Stacky. Yeah, he fouled out. Yeah, at the, at the very end. Yeah. Like uh, Jaron Jackson Jr. Yeah. I mean, the Grizzlies are tough. So I'm not upset the Bulls lost that game. 
That was, that was a tough game for the I, I, I just Anderson showed, too. Anderson was getting rebounds like crazy too. Yeah, I, I felt like the Bulls are oh, not Tyus, Tyus Jones. So Tyus Jones. About oh. The Bulls don't have that urgency. Some some of these games, they just they come out flat and then they're playing. I just, catch I up. just say everybody just be patient for uh, AC and Lonzo to get back. Oh yeah. Yeah, that deficiency uh, uh, number, uh, deficient, defensive yeah, deficiency, defen- yeah. deficiency with, without rise, them rise. is the 29th right now. Well, it's I mean, gonna rise. just having Caruso on the on the court, I mean, it just makes a huge difference. Well, Coach Caruso, of course. <laughs> the other thing I want to talk to you guys about is, you know, Demar feels like he has to hit every game winning shot. Yeah. Do you guys ever notice how sometimes it seems like his the game clock in his head speeds up? Yeah. And he's really, really trying to get to a spot a little too fast. Yeah. Sometimes, and and you can't really argue with the results that he's produced. He's the man has hit game winning shot after game winning shot. Sometimes I wish Levine got a little bit more love at the end of the game. Well, I think that's part of it. He's trying because they have two closers. I think he's trying to develop the play, and if he can't take that shot, maybe you know, okay, maybe have him open and you know, be like, okay, I I couldn't get to my spot. Let me dish it out. Maybe that's part of it. I don't know. You saw that one rebound that uh, Le- Levine grabbed away from Demar. Yeah, and he yeah. went all the way. Yeah, down. that's what I'm talking about. One on four. That's what I'm saying. Like, uh, where's that aggressiveness? That's what I want from him. I want that alpha male. Like, I want it. I want the shot. I want the ball. And Levine hasn't done that because he's been uh, injured DeMar's with the knee. Been, Demar's been carrying him at the end of the games. Well, yeah. My expectation, hopefully, it happens, is that this second half they're going to come hardcore, especially once they they have everyone. Because like Demar said, we're doing this and we're not even at 100. percent Yeah. So imagine once they get everybody back, and they're still at the top of the East. Hard. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, there's still going to be a learning curve when they get everybody back because Patrick Williams hasn't played with this team at all. This is a whole new crew. You yeah, got, true. I mean, AC and Lonzo are going to go back into the starting lineup. Oh no, oh, AC. I mean, Lonzo. Yeah, Lonzo's coming to the starting lineup. Yeah. That means everybody's going to shift down. Kobe, Io, everybody gets a shift down. Yeah, but so that's, that's going to be an adjustment. Make the most out of their minutes, though. That's going to be an adjustment. That's going to be on Billy. That's yeah. that's, that's where you get paid the big bucks, right? Yep. All right. So you said. They they beat they beat Atlanta, they lose. They might go one for two here, one for one, one and two, two? one yeah. and two. Yeah, you one, one and two. So sorry. Saying, yeah, so you're saying they're beating Atlanta, they're losing the other two. So Milwaukee and uh, I mean it's 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 Miami. it's a size right. It's, yeah, Milwaukee could possibly win the entire NBA championship this year. Like they could possibly win the whole thing again. You got you there's nobody to, in the West. There's nobody in the West that can challenge them. I'm saying the Suns are pretty hot. Yeah, Golden State seems. Pretty good. Golden State feels like they're just on cruise control until the playoffs. They they haven't got Wiseman back yet, right? No, No, I don't think so. Okay, so he's probably coming back soon. Uh, But yeah, I I would say the Suns are the favorite in the West. And here you got to you got to give the Bucks their. I'm going to say the Bucks are going to win this thing again, which is really hard to do. Oof, run it back to back. But so so this week, but Giannis is amazing. I'll say this week, I think they lose to Miami, and that's it. Because I think Miami's going to come for them. To kind of do a statement game, I, I really think, want I them. Think to, I really want them to beat Miami. I want them to beat Miami more than I. I care about them beating the Bucks. I think we'll beat the Bucks, though. I don't think we beat the Bucks. I, I don't think we I beat the Bucks. I got five on it, homie. I, don't know. I, think I'll, I get five dollars. Guess what? I can buy one cheeseburger at a McDonald's. Now. I, think, I think you'll be all right. See? <laughs> Finally, some winning, some bets. <laughs> and that's the bottom line, because Big Z said so. All right, fans, we'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. We all know that 2020 was no joke. And with an ever-changing world climate, many people are looking for a new opportunity. Guys, are you looking for a career that rewards effort and makes you feel valued as a team member? Let me tell you a little about our friends at ACSI. ACSI is a certified RCN business agent. They provide the same RCN services with a personalized touch. Their sales and technician teams work hand-in-hand, ensuring your experience will be smooth and pleasant. Gone are the days of being transferred from one person to the next. At ACSI, they handle everything from start to finish. It's never been so easy to get internet service. ACSI is a growing Chicagoland company that encourages personal growth and rewards perseverance. As they expand, they're looking for passionate, responsible, and honest professionals to join their team. A career with ACSI means you'll be part of a hardworking, flexible, and dynamic team that is a leader in the installation of cable and internet services in the Chicagoland area. 
Best of all, ACSI was awarded Hacia's 2020 Contractor of the Year Award. Are you ready to grow with a local Chicago company on the rise? Check out acsi.tech and click on careers to get started. That's acsi.tech and click on careers. Welcome back to the True Chicago Sports Fans with E-Rock and Big Z. Filling in is Mike Logic and Gigantor. That's right, boys. All right, boys. It's that time again. Bling, 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 bling. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it, Z? What yeah, time? There it is. It's time for Stirring the Pot. All right, fellas. I got a question for you, and I know you guys are dessert connoisseurs. So continuing with the ballpark foods, I found a food and this one is at, where is this at? This is, is in Chase Field. So Texas, they have what is considered a churro dessert. So this churro dessert is in a, uh, um, a donut bun. It's got a regular churro inside. It's got ice cream. It's got chocolate drizzled. It's got nuts. It's got, uh, I don't know, some other stuff on here. But is this something that you would do? Would you go for the churro uh, heart attack here with the, all this sweet stuff on it, man? One, one time for sure. Oh, you, you're one of those persons. I'll try it once. Yeah, I'm an adventurous eater. So it's got vanilla ice cream, whipped cream, chocolate sauce, strawberry sauce, and extra Oreos. And a donut bun. I thought there was going to be a hot dog on there. No, no, no. That'd be disgusting. Because I like to keep my sweets and my meats <laughs> separate. <laughs> Six of ten. All right, Gigant, are you going? Are you in for this? Uh, after looking at this picture, yeah, I'll give it a try. You give it a try. I'll give it a try. It looks good. I like churros. I like ice cream. I don't know about the bun, but yeah, what, I, I like churros. What, it's a donut bun. It's a long. Yeah, it's a it's donut a bun. John, so. I don't. I don't need all that though when I'm eating a churro. No, so, true. That, that's why I said I'll try it one time. It doesn't sound appetizing though. I'm gonna be honest. It's one of those things like, oh man, this is a lot of sugar. It's overkill. It's a little much, yeah. It's over- just sell churros. You don't gotta do dog. People will, <laughs> people will buy just churros. I mean, can you? You've been to the ballpark, like, yeah. do you know how expensive a damn one churro is at the ballpark? That's six do- six dollars. Did, did you tell us how how much that is? I'm guessing it doesn't it's like have the seventeen dollars. It doesn't that. have the price. Oh, it's eight fifty. It costs eight fifty. Oh, is the price on there? Eight fifty, and that's one thousand one hundred and seventeen calories. There you go. You won't have to eat again that yeah, for, day. For the week. Yeah, that's your sugar for the month. So it's a long john, a cinnamon churro, three scoops of frozen yogurt, nah, man. caramel and chocolate You better sauce split that thing. Cream. You better split that. Yeah, with the whole damn aisle. Like three ways. At <laughs> least. Hey, best kind of way. <laughs> a menage a trois of churros. Oui, oui. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we're all in agreement. We'll try it. But try it, it would never be a staple. Well, oh, there God. you go. Three of us can try it. Then there we, you go. We'll split it. <laughs> we'll split it. <laughs> if we can get some the, baseball. I want the front of it, though. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. If we can get some baseball. This yeah, year, if sure. we can get some baseball. All right. So, staying on the churro thing, what is your favorite flavor of churro? I just like I like plain churro. I'll, I'll dip it in chocolate. You don't want the chocolate filling? No, nah, I'm, I'm good with just the plain churro. I'm, I'm pretty boring when it comes to my churros. Um, I like the one that's got like vanilla pudding in the middle. That's pretty good. <laughs> it's too easy. I know. I know. <laughs> what, what, what about you, Z? What about you? Uh, so there's this place called Chudo, right? They have they have a, a different a special every day of the week. I think either Sunday or Monday they have apple fi- apple pie filling. So that would be my my go to. Like warm apple pie. pie. That's right. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> I, I might, I might, I might flip it up next time. I might, I might get one with either chocolate filling or apple pie. Sounds pretty good though. Yeah, and the warm apple pie filling and the churro. It's just, I mean, mm. that, I think that's a good one. I mean, they have uh, pina colada. They have all different exotic stuff, and I just, I stick to stuff that I know. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, strawberry, chocolate, vanilla. Those are once good. once again. I'll try, I'll try anything once. Yeah. All right then. When it comes yeah. to food. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, hey. I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now that that's covered, uh, before we get, get out of here and before we go, what are you guys looking at? That means what are you guys watching? Yeah, um, I don't know about you guys. I'm Peacock, Bel Air, obviously, for me. How is that? It's, yeah. It's haven't. pretty, 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 pretty good. I mean, you were taking a, 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 an iconic series with Will Smith, and uh, I know he's the executive producer and all that stuff, but you are taking an iconic series that is... It's a much more mature version yeah. of The Fresh Prince. It's, it's, it's more TV, drama. It's TVMA. 
A lot more drama. There is there is some comedy. Carlton is absolutely despicable. Like oh. he he's likable in the original Fresh Prince of right. Bel Air, but he there is there is no redeeming qualities about him in this show. He is a pain in the ass. He is just an uptight. See, that's what I was curious about because it's more of an adult. He thinks he, he thinks this shit don't stink. Like it, it's it's well, it makes sense. He's from Bel Air, and this kid's coming from South Philly or whatever. But at goes. least like the Carlton that that we grew up with on, on the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, he he had likable and redeeming qualities. This guy has. This guy's just an ass hat. <laughs> um, I also watched Inventing Anna. Okay. Oh, what's that? It's about that fake uh, German heiress. It's on Netflix, by okay. the way. Uh, how she uh, she almost secured some some forty fifty million dollars in loans so she could do this uh, art art building or she was trying to buy this building or rent this building where she would have like art shows and make it a club and she basically just faked it till she made it but she didn't make it and you'll have to watch it it's on uh, it's on Netflix it's got the girl from Ozarks, uh, Ruth Langmore. Oh, okay. Uh, Julia Gardner. Gotcha. And she does a fantastic job. Uh, so, uh, yeah, check it out. And also, um, the girl from My Girl, Anna Chomsky. Oh, yeah. Okay. She's she's the main character. She's the reporter in this. So, Ooh. definitely check out Inventing Anna. I like a- Abbott's Elementary a lot. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to take over this. No, whole it's all good. It's all good. I, I, I'm pretty sure you're watching that. I love that it's, show because it's, it's so spot on. Phenomenal. Phenomenal yeah, I writing. watching it. It's pretty funny. And I forget the name of the uh, auto uh, the auto uh, show now on uh, NBC as well. I think that's what it's called, like auto something. I don't know. It's auto something. Oh, it's kind of like Superstore, right? The, yeah. Yeah. I think it's it's kind of like The Office, too. Okay. Well, that, that's why I like about App Elementary. It's literally The Office in a school setting. Yeah, so, it is. <laughs> So that's that's pretty much what I've been watching, and also the Bulls, the Bulls, yeah, the Bulls. All right, Gigantic, what are you watching that's not sports? So lately, I did actually do two movies, which was oh. big for me. I went to go watch Uncharted in theaters with Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, with Mark Wahlberg and uh, Tom Holland. Yeah, and basically, I mean, it's it's kind of like a um, Indiana Jones slash National Treasure type movie. They're looking for some stuff. It's based off of a video game that was on right. PlayStation. So if you've played the games, you'll you'll enjoy it. Um, it was pretty good. It was. So if I didn't play the game, will you'll I still, still like it? Okay. Because it, like I said, it's just the fun of heists and stuff like that, and everything they go through. And obviously, it's a trilogy, so they leave it open for more. Yeah, I mean, you've got to leave it yeah. open for more. But yeah, it was it was fun. A couple of twists and turns. I mean, you can pretty much guess what's going to happen. It's a lot Batman. of CGI. See, that's my problem. When I watch something, I, I get into Batman mode, and I automatically I start dissecting everything. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. This, this, and that. I mean, come on. Let's, all these movies are CGI. You yeah. really think that Tom Cruise does everything without a harness? Yeah, true. Come on. But yeah, that was good. Um, I also watched that one that they're uh, talking about on Hulu called No Exit. It's supposed to be a thriller about this girl who gets... Uh, oh, I watched that. Yeah, with the snowstorm. I thought it was funnier than anything. Like, huh. To me, I was laughing my ass off because the acting wasn't that great. Uh, it's got the guy from the Allstate commercials in it. And, oh, okay. And stuff. And Dennis it had a Haysbert. lot of twists and turns. You get his name right, Dennis Haysbert. Thank yeah. you. Well, I couldn't remember off the top of my head. Pedro but. Serrano, come on. Yeah, yeah exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Fuck you, Google. I do it myself. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I didn't care for that one that much. No, like it was said, not it was, good. It was funnier than anything for me. Okay. They tried to add too many twists and turns. And eh. and then uh, recently I've been watching uh, the new... I'm a big fan of the Viking show that was on the History Channel. So they have a new one called Valhalla that's mm-hmm. on Netflix. Okay. And it takes place 100 years after the events of Vikings. Uh, I'm about three episodes in, and it's pretty good so far. But from what people are telling me, it picks up a lot more after that. So I'm excited for that. So far, it's been a lot of uh, um, character introduction. And the cool part is this one. The last one had Thor. Or not Thor. Um, what's his name? Um, oh, my God. I can't remember the name is of the kid. Thor's brother? No, no, no. Hemsworth? Uh, man. It said Thor. Hemsworth. No, no, no. I messed that up. But uh, anyways. <laughs> Um, this one has Leif Erikson. Okay. So, you know, it's a continuation of everything that happened before. So, so far it's good. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. That's oh, about it. Well, actually the only other one, which you guys are going to laugh at me about, but I don't care, is uh, How I Met Your Father. How is that? Uh, so, why would we laugh at you? It's Hillary. Is it Hillary Duff, right? Yeah, Hillary Duff. Yeah, why, why would we laugh at you? I, I, I think she's still hot. So, you know, I, I had is. to watch it for right. her. But uh, I, I did like How I Met Your Mother a lot, so I actually like this. It's a there's a nice little correlation from the from that series to this series. A couple things. So it's a different story. It's a whole different story. Okay. 
it's a whole different story. And actually, the mom, which is her character, ends up being Kim Cattrall. Okay. And she's telling a story. She's still hot? <laughs> yeah. Mm, I don't know. I never found it. That Samantha? Well, except for Big Trouble in Little China, I never found it that hot. Samantha's pretty hot. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a Samantha. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> no, but yeah. Um, yeah, it's good. It's funny. It's got its, its points. I, her best friend in the show is kind of hot, too. So that kind of helps as well. But yeah, it's funny. If you like the, if you like how I met yeah, your mother, attractive people always help yeah. for uh, for good shows. Yeah, but I mean, that, so far, this I've is la- why I've this laughed. is a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you got a face for TV, but I mean for radio. <laughs> yeah, you got a face for radio. Uh, damn, you guys have been watching a lot. I have actually uh, taken a step back and not watched much because I had that root canal. So I literally had Seinfeld on just on automatic play, and uh, I've been dozing in and out. But I did get to watch uh, seasons two of the morning show. With uh, yeah. I started that. Yeah, season two. I just I started like the first show, episode. Was um, it, Reese with what, what you think? The first uh, is that right? it's all right so far. I mean, like like first season the, the bet uh, the best. Uh, but there's really nothing. I else. think they could have just ended it. At the yeah, first they should have ended. I'll, I'll watch it. But well, I'm yeah. interested to see what you think of the whole season. Yeah, uh, season two took a while to develop. I, I did finish that one. Uh, the payoff. It's crazy. I binged season one. So did I. Yeah, I thought I thought it was very good writing. Season well, one was awesome. I mean, there was a lot to write with. I mean, yes, you know, um, yeah. Matt Lauer stuff. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm trying to think of anything else I've watched. Um, I watched Deadpool all over again just because I was yeah. bored. There's nothing else on there, but um, I'm excited to see what's going to happen with Deadpool three because it's it's the the the. Uh, the contract negotiation and the script and all that stuff is coming in yep. because now that he's part of Marvel and they're keeping him as a rated R uh, entity which as they is should big, as they should what, what's going to be crazy now is that now he has the whole Marvel universe to play with where does he free fall in because a lot of the jokes in part one and part two are him making fun of Marvel like oh the studio only gave me two X Men and they're like the the outcasts like Colossus and yeah. Me- was it Mega what. A Negasonic soldier or See Negasonic team. Exactly <laughs> Exactly <laughs> So I was staying on uh, The topic of superheroes And yeah. Marvel and DC uh, You guys watch Peacemaker? Oh, I yeah. love it. Peacemaker Absolutely There was a lot it. of uh, A lot of shit talking About DC characters oh, Especially yeah. the season finale Oh yeah He's like oh shit Now you guys showed up Yeah And another well, uh, that was, But that was Justice League yeah yeah, 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 yeah. DC characters, DC characters. Yeah. What I'm saying, like you, Jason Momoa and and the Flash showed up. Oh, and, and I'm, everyone not else to give anything away, but that joke, that ongoing joke about him was fantastic. <laughs> he likes to frick fish. Yeah. Okay. Well, he gave it away. <laughs> <laughs> it, that's all right. You, have, you haven't watched it. Come on, get, get on the board. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not it's not a big it's not a big secret. He likes to frick fish. Uh, but uh, the other DC character, Batman. Has a new movie coming. Yeah, it's coming up this week, Man. right? Are you guys excited about it? Because I will be watching I am. It on Friday. I'm super excited. I, I I'm optimistic on how he's gonna do. Uh, the reviews that of people watching it so far saying that he's gonna be the best Batman. He's a great actor. So pump, yeah, he's a pump, good actor. He's a good actor. I'm about to say pump the brakes. Wait till we see it. Like there's been different variations, and different variations depend on the production and and the director, right? You had. Um, Tim Burton spin on it You know That was very cartoony mm-hmm. Very outlandish It was fun It and, was fun and Jack's my favorite Of, oh, of the Jokers Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. That's yours That's yours My mind's off uh, is it Romero Roger? No it's Romero Oh You gotta go back you Gotta go back in time He He's, he's the ground uh, Foundation for everything Cesar Romero was a great Cesar Romero player. All these guys took from Cesar Romero So oh, yeah. you gotta go there Um but I'm looking at the different Batmans. You got the Christian Bale Batman. You know the serious and this well, is- he's a very good actor. See, my 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 Joker, and it's not fair. Is the Mark Hamill the animated one? Of course, because you know they can get away with more. But yeah, yeah, he yeah. When I think about the Joker, I uh, I think of Mark Hamill's voice. Uh, I think about Cesar Romero, and then you do look at Keith Ledger, where he studied. All of that, oh, yeah. and took it all and put it all together. Absolutely, oh, uh, yeah. the, the Pagliacci he, he joke. Was, he was incredible. Oh yeah. Yeah, but uh, you look. Then you look at the Ben Affleck version of it. So hot take. I really like Ben Affleck as uh, as Bruce Wayne. I like Ben Affleck too. I thought he was good. I they didn't give him enough. Um, I didn't hate Jared Leto as as the Joker as much as everybody else did. No, either. I, I there was a lot left on a cutting room floor. Yeah, that didn't make it. So it looked like he wasn't even part of the, the Suicide Squad. Or yeah. it, it, have you watched the Snyder Cut? Because they use yeah, stuff they, use they use more. They use more. I thought he got a bad rap. I didn't think he was as bad as everybody. What? I agree. Well, it's it's hard to follow Heath Ledger. Yeah, and and that's probably what it is. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. Yeah, but yeah, uh, we got a new Catwoman. Yeah, Zoe Kravitz. Yeah, I'm bored on that. I'm bored on that. Yeah, 
Oh yeah, on board. I mean, they, they haven't they haven't missed on those though. You had what Kim Basinger as the first one, right? Now Kim no. Basinger was the reporter. Oh, no, she's she's the reporter. reporter. Michelle Pfeiffer, Michelle you're Michelle thinking Pfeiffer. of? Sorry, Michelle Pfeiffer. Yeah, that was Michelle Pfeiffer's best. Uh, how do I put this in words? <laughs> that was the best. Her best period, I, I would say, as far as movies go. From, from in oh my yeah, opinion. early nineties. If, if you catch my drift, like that yeah. was her, her best period. I think. I think. Holly Berry's was okay. I really liked Anne Hathaway as uh, as Catwoman. Yeah, they they don't really. He's right. They don't miss. They don't miss on those. Yeah, they don't miss. There's, and now you got Zoe Kravitz, and I'm just like, mm. are you extremely attractive? Check. Yeah. Can you act? Check. Check. Yeah, we're not gonna miss with Catwoman. Yeah. Do you, can you wear black leather? Check. Yeah. Check. <laughs> it's it's a simple recipe. Yeah, it is for that. It really is. <laughs> well, what do you think about uh, Colin Farrell as the as the Penguin? I thought the, the casting was a little odd. I know he's a great actor, but I mean, putting him in a fat suit and all that. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see. Uh, I think he's a, he's a good actor. Uh, it's hard when you when you've had Danny DeVito be the Penguin. I mean, yeah. I'm yeah. always gonna have that in my mind. Yeah. So uh, and Burgess Meredith was just such a great Penguin too. I kinda, yeah, Ooh. but Burgess Meredith. Oh, okay. Burgess Meredith. Yeah. Come on, Rock. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, what did you think about the uh, what is it um, Gotham series? How I they- didn't watch the Gotham series. Oh my god You you it, didn't it watch was, something It was good I loved the Gotham series I didn't finish it But it was good It, it got kind of a little corny Towards the end But I, I it, it, it was a kid show Really It yeah, was you yeah. know It was at 7 o'clock at night On Mondays It was a little bit of a kid show But the, the joke interpretation I mean no the Joker interpretation Jerome? was great. Jerome, Jerome right? Uh, but the uh, is that the uh, same guy from Shameless? Yes, yes it is. okay. So he did a phenomenal yeah, job. Cameron yeah, Monaghan. Yeah. yeah, and but the the uh, penguin awesome character, dude. right? He took it in a completely different direction, and then they made him. You oh know, yeah, Cobblepot. Yeah, yeah. So I did watch like stuff about it. I never watched the series just because I didn't like the story how it went. Like especially with like Bruce Wayne and Kyle being like good friends and this and that. Of them growing up and so yeah, yeah I mean they were they, 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 every, took, they took their liberties. Yeah, they did. That's what it is. They did. All right. You got anything else Mike? As far as what I'm watching? No, I think that's going to do it. So um all right, y'all. all right, y'all. That's it for today. <laughs> <laughs> no, hey, thank you guys for listening. A big thank you to our sponsors, 606 Media, True Chicago Sports Fans, and ACSI. Grit Clothing Company, of course, which I see you're, you're downing right That's there. That's right, always. Don't forget to uh, go to gritclothingco.com and get your official TCSF podcast t-shirt. Search for keyword True Chicago. Use your promo code TRUEFAN15 at checkout for 15% off your entire order. That's TRUEFAN15. I think I said it slow enough. Get your shirts <laughs> now. And don't forget to visit our guy, Danny. Friends at ACSI.tech. And check out their career section to start a new exciting career in the communications industry. Go to acsi.tech. That's acsi.tech. And click on careers to apply today and get your 2022 started off right. Yes, sir. And don't forget to check out the Shy Native Radio Podcast, now available on all major platforms. Our co-host right now, Mike Logic. I deal with that guy. Yeah. Throw MC, talk about sports, movies, and all types of ill shit. Out. <laughs> Go check them out now, and don't sleep on Mike Logic's new album. It's great to have him here. So uh, I'm glad we can still call it new. Yeah, it's still new. I, mean, I play it's your beats new. all the time yeah. on our no, on our I, show. I appreciate it. I yeah. hear him all the time. That's right. As I was saying, it's now available on our Neither do I. Uh, check yeah. out MikeLogic.BandCap.com. Go and get your copy right now. And the brand new music for his, brand new music video for his single Solo now available. Watch it on YouTube. Get those numbers and pump them up. Yeah, follow me on Instagram if you guys don't mind. M I C L O G I K. And you know, stay in tune with me. I got a bunch of shows coming up. Some with the fam, some solo. We're throwing shows, like I said, at the top of the, the program. And we also want to give a shout-out to Ronesh, Panic, Serious Beats, and Custom Made for the beats we played today on today's show. Check out PanicOnTheBeat.com for your moment merch and gear. And make sure you check out this absolute fire collab from Serious Beats and Custom Made. Custom Made, and it is fire, by the way, guys. Their new beat tape, Treasured Paintings, is available now. Check out at SeriousXBeats.com. You guys can follow us on social media at True Shy Fans on Twitter and on TikTok. We need you to step up the dancing videos, though. <laughs> <laughs> Man, these hips lie, bro. I don't know about that. You can find us on Facebook, IG, YouTube, Spotify, and reach out to us on our email as well. We'd love to hear from you. And you can uh, just send an email to Sports Fans at gmail.com. 
Yeah, we'd like to hear from you. That's right. Before we go, we'd like to acknowledge the passing of former Mariners and White Sox player Julio Cruz. He died this past Tuesday after years of battling prostate cancer. The two teams announced Wednesday Cruz who had been a broadcaster for the Mariners on the Spanish language telecast since 2003 is survived by, among other family members, his wife and three sons. I also like to acknowledge the passing of a dear friend, Tony Pugh, a.k.a. Step Daddy, mm-hmm. Chef Daddy. What? He was a great human being uh, and the Output family and the rest of the world will miss you, Tony. Uh, we definitely have a beer and a shot poured out at the bar on a daily basis right now just to acknowledge and memorialize him because he was such a human being. One of those guys that uh, definitely came into a room, said hi to everybody, had a great time. He was a doorman at the uh, Continental for yeah, a while. I remember he worked, him when I went to yeah, the he was, Yeah, he, was at the, uh, he worked at Margaritaville. He was in Rockford uh, uh, doing his thing with his family. But um, we lost him way too soon. Uh, great human being. One of those people that no one had a bad thing to say about Mm -hmm. so everybody's gonna miss him rest in peace Tony rest Rest in peace peace. I also gotta say uh, rest in peace uh, to Brandon B. Smooth Cox Uh, his his passing was very sudden unexpected and uh, I just want you guys to know Brandon was very charitable he was always he was always donating jackets or organizing donations for jackets clothing sneakers putting together charity basketball games Uh, very big heart uh, a very big loss And we're gonna miss him So rest in peace to Brandon Be smooth Cox hey, Rest in peace Alright we'll see you guys th- Later down the road yep. Alright y'all For Big Z Gigantor E-Rock Wherever he's at This is Mike Logic And we'll see you next week For episode 86 Until then Be good to each other Spread love It's the true Chicago sports fans way For the love of sports Stay safe Chicago That's L-O-G-I-K a few moments later. You have a lot of incest. That's real. Shut your mouth. Lover boy. Nature versus nurture, Lodge. Nature always wins. I think he's on steroids. Hasta luego, amigos. That's all. For... Oh, I shouldn't have had those artichokes. Eat the poppers.